Jamie Foxx makes a living out of entertaining us on the big and small screen. But when it comes to his private life, the former and living color star has managed to keep a low profile. For many years, the mothers of his two daughters remained a mystery. And although he was in a relationship with actress Katie Holmes for years, he never publicly confirmed they were an item. We aren't the only ones baffled by Jamie's strange love life. During an episode of Oprah's Next Chapter, the talk show host asked, are you capable of being in a monogamous, sustained relationship? Jamie didn't really answer the question. Instead, he told Oprah that he tells all his friends in the industry, whoever you are dating, don't let anybody know. Oprah wondered why the veteran bachelor had never tied the knot, and Jamie answered that one heartbreak could be, quote, catastrophic for a man. So who was the first woman to break Jamie's heart? It's unlikely that it was one of his ex-girlfriends. Jamie's history with women starts back to his relationship with his mom. Jamie Foxx was born as Eric Bishop in 1967. When he was just seven months old, his biological parents gave him away. According to The Times, Jamie was raised by his biological mother's foster parents, Estelle and Mark Talley. While living with the Talleys, whom Jamie referred to as grandpa and grandma, his biological parents lived less than 30 miles away. However, they never took the time to visit him. His birth mother went on to have two daughters, which she kept and raised. This left Jamie feeling abandoned. Why did his mom decide to keep her other kids, but not Jamie? For many years, he had no communication with his parents. But in 2014, he told The Times he had moved his mom and his two biological sisters into his home. As for him and his dad, he said their relationship was still strained. Despite harboring feelings of abandonment for most of his life, Jamie's career skyrocketed when he became a featured cast member on In Living Color in 1991. Next, he welcomed his daughter Corinne with a woman named Connie Klein in 1993. Jamie told O Magazine they experienced some challenges when their daughter turned six. He said it would have been easy for him to just send Connie a check every month and become an uninvolved dad. But instead, he chose to fully invest himself into his daughter's life. As for Connie, her identity remained a secret up until Corinne wished her a happy Veterans Day on social media in 2016. It was at that time when more information about Connie was uncovered. Aside from serving in the Air Force for five years, she owns an accounting firm in Southern California. A source told the Daily Mail in 2016 that Jamie had purchased Connie a house and a brand new Mercedes. The insider added, he looks after her well, they have an agreement. After a recurring role on the show Rock, Jamie went on to appear in his own sitcom, The Jamie Foxx Show, in 1996. He starred alongside actress Garcelle Bouvet. The chemistry they had on screen was electrifying. After Garcelle divorced her first husband, Daniel Sanders, in 2000, she and Jamie considered taking their friendship to the next level. She told the Huffington Post they ultimately decided to keep things platonic because it would have been too awkward for them to keep working with each other if their romantic relationship didn't work out. One of the first relationships that brought him a lot of attention was with actress and former video vixen Lila Arcieri. Lila told the Glamour podcast she began accompanying him to red carpet events during the 2005 award season. Although the media claimed they were engaged, she denied they were ever a couple. But Jamie told a different story to People magazine. He said, I know she digs me because she was there when I was just trying to figure out how to get from point A to point B. So what's the truth? We may never know. There was no time for him to get stuck on just one woman though. In 2006, he was spotted out and about with Megan Good. The paparazzi caught them embracing and kissing each other goodbye in front of a Beverly Hills hotel. When the pictures hit the internet, Megan was heated. In an interview, she said she had known Jamie since she was 18 and they were nothing more than friends. Megan was also suspicious about the entire situation. She said as soon as they walked out of the hotel, the paparazzi showed up on cue and began snapping photos. She alluded to Jamie tipping off the photographers, but she refused to elaborate any further. 
In 2007, he was spotted leaving a Beverly Hills charity event with Lil' Kim. According to In Touch Weekly, he and Kim allegedly headed to his house and were reportedly seen going inside his bedroom. His next serious relationship was with a woman named Kristen Grannis. Their secret romance resulted in Jamie fathering another child, a girl named Annalise. According to sources, Kristen worked as a publicist, but now Jamie allegedly financially supports her. Her father told the National Enquirer that Kristen has been single ever since her breakup with Jamie. The next few years included Jamie going on a date with Stacey Dash in 2010. And he also had a brief fling with former Real Housewives of Miami star and Glenn Rice's ex-wife, Christy Rice, in 2013. In 2013, he would also reconnect with Katie Holmes. They had known each other as far back as 2006 when Katie was married to Jamie's collateral co-star, Tom Cruise. According to Marie Claire magazine, they would go to extreme lengths to keep their relationship private at first and would even wear disguises when they were out with each other. Us Weekly confirmed they were an item in 2015 and a source told People magazine that their relationship wasn't intense. The source added that they were both attractive and single and they weren't in a rush to run off and make a serious commitment anytime soon. The years passed by and Jamie began to get a little more comfortable with stepping out in public with Katie. In December 2018, they took a romantic trip to Miami. But just a few days after their vacation, Jamie was spotted on a yacht with model Olivia Colpo and actress Cara Santana. A source told Us Weekly that Katie was infatuated with Jamie despite the fact Jamie wasn't interested in settling down. And in February 2019, he was reportedly telling people at an Oscars charity gala that he was single. They must have patched things up because in May 2019, they attended the Met Gala together, although they arrived on the red carpet separately. In June 2019, Jamie allegedly told a friend that he and Katie were stronger than ever even though she lived in New York and he was based out of California. But their happy relationship was put into question when singer Sayla Vave stepped into the picture. Sayla grew up in Utah and has been signed to a talent agency since 2014. According to her Facebook page, the 5'11 aspiring star played basketball at Providence Hall High School before graduating in 2018. In early 2019, she put all of her focus into her singing career. She made a trip out to Los Angeles and she somehow snagged an invite to one of Jamie's exclusive house parties. Jamie told Power 106 that he walked out and heard Sayla sitting on the steps of his house playing the guitar and singing a Beyonce song. He knew right then that she was a star. In July 2019, Sayla announced on her social media that she was moving to Los Angeles permanently. She has reportedly been living in Jamie's home and has access to his recording studio, his horses, and all of his A-list connections. She has also accompanied him to various events and she even joined Jamie, his youngest daughter, his baby mama Kristen, and their family and friends during an outing to Disneyland. Many people believe there must be something more going on between Sayla and Jamie, especially since they were spotted holding hands while leaving a Los Angeles nightclub in August 2019. She has also posted numerous photos of him on her social media account and has publicly thanked him for all he has done for her. Judging by his history of keeping the special women in his life a mystery, it might be safe to assume that his relationship with Sayla is strictly business. For now. Let us know your thoughts on Jamie's dating history. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.